All right. <clears throat> I need some lip gloss. My Jesus. My Jesus. <laughs> What's up sis? It's Adesia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup look. Now I don't wear this makeup look every day but when I do, I do this. Before we put on all these layers of makeup, I'm going to prime my face with Milk of Magnesia. Now some people don't like using this but it works for me because I have oily skin and it keeps my makeup looking flawless all day. I like to do brows first so I'm going to take my ABH dip brow and fill in my brows. Now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep Sand to conceal my brows. You know, just to clean them up a little bit. Now I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 420 and apply that all over my face with a concealer brush. And then we're going to blend that out with a Real Technique sponge. Remember to use soft padding or light dabbing motions with the sponge because it can pick up all the product off your face and put it onto the sponge. And we don't want that. We want it to stay on the face. So I have acne prone skin and right now I'm having a bit of a breakout, like when am I not at this point? <laughs> so I usually just take another layer of foundation on my problem areas to, you know, fully cover that area. One thing I love about the Fenty Beauty Foundation is that it makes my skin, like it makes my makeup look skin like. Like I don't like a cake face, so it makes me look like I have naturally even skin, which I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and I really wish I had, but Fenty, Fenty does that for you, okay, sis? Get you some Fenty. I'm not playing. And now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again and put that under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, under my chin, and on my forehead to highlight. So before I blend the concealer out, I just like to take a concealer brush to pat around the eye. It just makes for a better blend to me. Now I'm going to blend out the concealer again with the Real Technique sponge. Don't use the foundation side, use the clean side. And now I'm going to contour with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso. And I just place that with dots on my cheeks, on my big ass forehead, on the sides of my nose, under my chin, you know, just to snatch that face up. We got to snatch it, okay? Now I'm going to blend that contour out with the fluffy, uh, with a fluffy angled brush. And I'm just using like quick circular motions to blend it out.
when I blend my nose contour out, I like to use my fingers first and just rub it on the sides of my nose and then I dab it to make it blend better and then I use the brush to further blend it. I like to use the matchstick on my eyes too because I like like that bronze like natural brown eyeshadow type look and it just makes it look really nice. Next, we're gonna move on to baking with my favorite powder, Sasha Cosmetics Setting Powder. Oh my God. Y'all, I just spilled so much powder on these freshly clean sheets. <gasps> okay. All right. All right. Now I'm gonna use the Black Radiance Powder Contour Palette and I'm just gonna place that on all the places where I cream contour. Now it's time to dust off all that excess powder that we have on our face from baking. And I just use a nice little fluffy brush to blend that out with the rest of the makeup that's on my face. I like to take that same contour powder that I used and put it under my eyes as well. And now we're gonna do blush. And I'm using the Ruby Kisses Duo Blush. And I just put that all on my cheeks and I put it on my forehead a little bit. I learned that from Symphony Soto. Just to make your face look like rosy. I think it's so cute, right? <laughs> Now I'm gonna do my wing liner. You know, I gotta have my wing. It just makes my face look 10 times better. I don't know why, but I like to use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner because they're the best and they're cheap. All right, wings done, lashes on. I don't remember what brand these are, but I got the lashes from the beauty supply store. And for the lips, I usually just go with my lip, my usual lip combo. Just a brown lip liner, pink lipstick in the middle, and then lip gloss all over, of course. I can't live without lip gloss, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I will do lip gloss over lipstick any day. Any day, okay? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna move on to the last step, which is highlighter, and I'm using the ABH and Reese highlighter. And you probably think, like, girl, this is too light for you, but it's really not. Like, it's not too gold, it's not too pink. It's like in the middle, and I love it. And I usually put this, like, on my brow bone, on the center of my nose, my cheeks, my chin, my forehead, everywhere, girl. I love to highlight. <laughs> All right, y'all, I lied. This is really the last step, I promise. I just sprayed my face with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray, and then I pat the spray down and just set my makeup with another makeup brush. That's it, sis. We're done. That is my everyday makeup routine that I do whenever I put on makeup. 
I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.